surreal landscapes, expansive. You know, the Himalayan mountains and the desert landscape together, just incredible. I've been to many places in the world, and the Upper Mustang kind of reminds me of a mixture between the uh, Australian Outback, the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. and... Uh, the moon. I've never been to the moon, <laughs> but it must be something like that, or maybe <laughs> Mars. The journey to the Sacred Kingdom, also known as the Kingdom of Lo, starts with a seven hours drive from Kathmandu to the beautiful city of Pokhara, the second largest city in Nepal with a population of almost a half a million. Our drive took us a little longer than expected due to the road construction along the way. But the scenic views and good company made the drive an unforgettable one. After enjoying the evening in scenic Pokhara, the next day we drove to the mountainous village of Kagbeni, which is known as the gateway to Upper Mustang. The drive took us 8 hours, but again the view did not disappoint. Along the way, we drove through the valley along the Kali Gandak river while enjoying the majestic views of the snow-capped mountain, Daulagiri and Annapurna. The scenery was absolutely breathtaking. Along the way, we passed Tatapani, the natural hot spring, Rupse waterfall, as well as the village of Tukuche and Jomso. Upon reaching Kagbeni, we eagerly explored the village, including a visit to Kakchode Monastery, which is one of the oldest monasteries in the region. We finally checked into a tea house for dinner and to get a good night's sleep in preparation for the beginning of the trek the next day. Good morning from Kagbeni, Nepal, Mustang. It's the 19th February 2023 and uh, we are headed to Upper Mustang Trek. The Upper Mustang is, you know, it's a forbidden kingdom. Hidden Kingdom. We are going to export this Hidden Kingdom now. Barry. Ram. Wes. Jenny. <laughs> <laughs> You know, look at the Kagbeni behind me. This is absolutely the big best view of Kagbeni. Great pyramids of Egypt. Yeah, Nepali Egypt. Oh, that's our pyramid, not Egyptian pyramid. Nepal. Yeah. Nepali pyramid. Some of this terrain reminds me of the, some of the rock formations in the outback of Australia. We arrived here at Tangbe after three and a half hours of hike from Kagbeni. Look at this view. You can see Chusang right there and Chele over there. Isn't this beautiful? Oh my god, look at the landscape. Oh wow.
We have arrived here at Susan. Look at the view behind. This is just incredible. And we are going to have lunch somewhere here in the village. One of the tea houses. And then after that, we'll be going to Chile. But let's have our time here. This is just amazing. I am enjoying this so much. Cheers. Okay, we are having lunch at this hotel, guest house. Let's go into the dining. And Jen is looking at menu. Did you choose something, Jen? I did. What do you want to eat? I think I'm going to have mushroom soup and french fries. Oh, that's great. Can we get anything? Yeah, you can get anything. Well, I, you were saying if they didn't have a cook, you should just get the dalbet. No, just get whatever you want. They said okay. it is fine. Okay, do. <sighs> I'm not all that hungry for some reason. But you better eat something. Oh, I'm planning on it. I'll just have a chicken uh, chicken fried rice and okay. I'll have a, um, a black tea. Enjoy your lunch, Jenny. I will. I will. Cheers. Oh, that, uh, that is for Betty, right? Oh, oh yeah. Sure. Yes. Oh, that's nice. That's Thanks. good. Yeah. That's uh, egg fried rice. Enjoy, very. Thank you. Had a great dalbat. Now let's go through this. Hey. Lily, 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 Lily. Very nice. <laughs> Hello, puppy. Hey, <laughs> puppy. Puppy. <laughs> Poor old puppy. <laughs> and now we are leaving Chusang. We have to do the, you know, permit checks a little bit further up, and then we'll be walking in the desert again. don't see these caves over there but there, is, there are so many caves big ones it's the human used to live there anyway well ah, we are going to stay in this hotel I hope the hotel is open because most of the hotels are closed in this off season so let's see see you later cheers namaste okay la. so we have people here we can stay here Okay. Jane, how are you doing? Good, good. I'm doing how was your day? The whole day? Oh, it was amazing. Uh, you Incredible. enjoyed trekking? Yes. Very okay. much. Okay. Oh. Let me show you the room of Jane. Look at the butterflies on Oh my here. god, is this your room? This is my room. I oh love my god. it. And the view. Oh. Check the view. Oh, 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 wow. I like it. Sunny. Oh, wow. Yeah. Have fun. I will. Thank you. Look at the view from our hotel. Wow. Minus six. Isn't this beautiful? Let's go to that way. Hello, everybody. Uh, this is four o'clock in the afternoon. We arrived here at Chile around three o'clock in the afternoon. So it was six hours hike. And this is a beautiful day. We arrived here and had a cup of tea and you know just having a good time look at this view i have i have you know i'm speechless you know i can't say anything 
I don't have anything in the mind but just enjoying this. You just see this. I know you love it. This is just wow! Okay, let's explore this village. Chile. Chile has lots of dogs. Yeah, Chile has lots of dogs. Oh man, pay me home. Hey, namaste. Namaste. It's his house we're going into. Yeah. Yeah? I know. Let's go. He disappeared. Okay then. Let's go. Wow. Oh yeah. Yeah. Look at the axe inside. So the, the trail ends here I think. It's just up to school. Oh yeah, welcome to our school. Wow, Chile Mustang. I see. Let's go this way. Little further. Where is he going? No, he didn't go there. He went inside. Here. Yeah. So it's school. He went to. Huh? It's a monastery. Oh, monastery school. Oh, beautiful. Don't walk with your shoes. Oh yeah. Oh money part me home. This is a Tibetan prayer wheel. Yes. A big one. Let's go to the hotel now. Jen, what's that? Uh this is egg spring roll mountain style. Egg spring roll. And what is that? Salt and pepper in wow. these adorable little Tibetan, I'm thinking, salt and pepper shakers. <laughs> nice one. And Betty, what are you eating? This is garlic soup, which will help me with the altitude. And it's a veggie spring roll. Okay, is that enough for you? Oh yeah, I had a really nice lunch today. Okay. And so this is great for this time. Enjoy, enjoy then. Thank you. Thank you. Enjoy, Jenny. Uh, uh -huh. <laughs> Good morning, it is 20th February 2023. We are leaving the village Chile. It was a great staying here at Chile. Had a good food and a great sleep. I just want to ask how my clients are doing. Hello, Jen. How are you doing? Very well. Did you sleep well? I slept really well. Did you eat enough? I ate too much. <laughs> so you're ready for the day, right? Always. Okay, cheers. Oh, hello, Betty. How are hello. you doing? Good. You are ready for the day? <sighs> yes, I am. And how was your day? Night here? Oh, it's beautiful. Food? Nice and quiet. Food's excellent. That's great. Good company. Cheers. <laughs> Let's go. <laughs> Thank you. Mahesh, how was your staying here? Oh, uh, very nice. Okay. Yeah. You ready to go? Yes. Cheers. Let's go.
that's the village Gakkar. And previously we had to walk down from this, you know, then this landslide down here to go to Samar before they build this road. But now there is a road, so we just walked on the road. Anyway, walking in that landslide down there is impossible now because of the rock falling thing. So it's all good. Hello, Jane, how are you doing? So good. Okay, you so enjoying? Beautiful. Oh my God, yeah. You're saying something just before over there. <laughs> yeah, I was saying of the four treks I've done in Nepal, this is by far my favorite. I'm enjoying this twice as much. So expansive and beautiful views the whole time. And we have like the desert landscape and the Himalayan snow-capped mountains at the same time. And it's just incredible. Two things I don't expect to see together. And here they are. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Not like, um, would you come off? Snowcap Mountains. It's all barren, but you head over to the western side, like the Brazilian side, green deserts or uh, green uh, forests. I'd like to go to Tibet, I don't know. Go out from us. Samar. There are two routes, one goes to Tsumsi Cave and one goes to Sangbote. So on the way back we'll be going back from Tsumsi Cave, so now we go to Sangbote this way. Now we have to climb all the way down to that river and climb all the way up to that point. And still we are going there, so it's going to be quite something now. So that uphill, big uphill, we are here at this Johnson. What do you feel, Barry? <sighs> Tired. It was a good climb, but the trail's been let go. Yeah. A lot of rocks and stuff on the trails. Kind of loose. You have to watch your step quite a bit, but yeah. it's very exhilarating. Boy, it gets, gets you juiced up. <laughs> yeah. But just take a rest for a while and we'll go, yeah. okay? Cheers. Yeah, it is. That tea house is in Vena. That place is called Vena. I hope that tea house is open. Otherwise, we'll have just snacks and go to Sangbuche for lunch. So, this tea house is closed, I think. Yes, at Vena. So, we're not having lunch here. We're going to Sangbuche. Another an hour and a half. And we'll decide either to go to Geling or stay there. It's a cookie time. The view. What is that? Look at the view. Okay, let me see this. <laughs> Wow. It was worth all the pain. Yeah. <laughs> wow. wow. See the road going down. 
and then you can see Sangbuja village over there haha good afternoon it's little after three o'clock in the afternoon and then we have arrived here at uh, Sangboche. Uh, it took us a, a little more than seven hours to get here. It was long, you know, because of the road, the trail is longer than I, we expected. Because the road goes this way, that way, this way, that way. So uh, it's a little more than we expected, but we are here now. Let's have lunch and see what happens. Cheers. Okay, let's go to this tea house and have a lunch. She is bringing the menu. We are gonna order something. Uh, anyway, check the menu, please. Oh, Doug here. Hello. Hello, guys. Mustang Alu. <laughs> okay. Hello again. It's six o'clock in the evening. Uh, we had our lunch about an hour ago. So after lunch, we felt like, oh, that was already a long hike, seven hours. So we decided to stay here. Uh, it's a uh, you know no point rushing and pushing too much so we're staying here it's a good day the weather is great so we are just enjoying everything that is around here look at around you can see this oh my god we are in the Shangri-La I can say it's a Shangri-La this is such a wonderful wonderful place let's enjoy this place cheers good morning it is 21st February 2023 and we are here at Sangboche. We arrived here yesterday around three o'clock and then oh, something like that. And we stayed here at this beautiful hotel, guest house. We had a great food and great sleeping here. And uh, the day is so beautiful. Oh, by the way, last night when I came out from the you know, hotel and you know, this guest house, oh my God, I could see so many stars up there. Oh my God, I, I wish I could have taken this um, star time lapse or something, but I didn't do that. Anyway. Now we are ready to go to Ghami. It's a beautiful day. Let's go. You know, this is going to be another five hours, four hours hike today. And gentle, beautiful, all good. See you later on the way. Cheers. Namaste. 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 Little one. Oh, no. oh my god. Do you want to take her? Yes. Oh my god. Take oh. it on the way back then. Oh. <laughs> Yeah, in the far distance, you can see the village Gilling over there, right there. Look at this. Oh my God, this Jordan. What art here. Well, really, there's nothing to say. It's just unbelievably magnificent here. Like, I, I really came up here in the uh, upper Mustang for the culture and to meet the people because I'm fascinated by the Tibetan culture. But the landscape has just blown me away. Just really blown me away. Wow, look at this beautiful Gilling village. We're gonna explore this village now. It, it took us an hour and a half to get here from Shangboche. Very slow and we walked on the road so it took us longer, that's why. But look at the view, look at the village, oh my god. Walking through the village of Giling. Namaste.
they have built so nice beautiful tea houses here look at this okay let's stop here for a tea yeah This means Namaste and we are almost at Kami. It is uh, 2.30 in the afternoon. We've been walking for like uh, five and a half hours or nearly six hours. We haven't had our lunch yet. We are hungry. We need to go there and eat as soon as possible and we can take a rest for today because that's the camp we are staying tonight. But the day has been amazing. Look at the view. Look at the weather. Oh my God. Okay. Stay tuned. Cheers. Uh, it's a beautiful day. We are hungry, but uh, let's have a slight, you know, light lunch now and wait for the big dinner. Let's go to the hotel now. Isn't this nice? Yeah. Let's go to my room now. I have shown you client's room a few times, but today I'm going to show you my room. This is the room that I'm staying together with Mahesh. They have blanket here. This is good. Let's go to kitchen. This is a nice spot. And they have a rooms over there. And uh, let's go to kitchen dining. This is the kitchen. And that's the dining hall. I'm just enjoying the incredible 300 thinking that one of the things I think that makes this trek so special, um, because it's a restricted area, we haven't seen any other tourists, any other foreign tourists, and we're three days into our trek. We've seen some Nepalese tourists and jeeps or motorbikes, but no other trekkers. Um, and I think that's partially because it's a restricted area, but also because it's off season, it's February. So I really, really recommend trekking off season because it's like we have all of Mustang to ourselves. It is uh, roasty potato with cheese and eggs. Wow, it looks yummy. Enjoy. I, I hope to. <laughs> Jen, what are you eating? Mushroom soup, french fries, Coca-Cola. Wow, enjoy. Mm, thank you. Bye bye. Wow, look at the view.
Good morning. This is 8.30 in the morning. We are at Ghami, leaving this village and going to Charang. What a beautiful morning. We had our breakfast. Everything is going great. Uh, how are you, Jane? I'm doing well. Did you sleep well today, tonight, last night? Ah, uh, so-so. Oh, how was the food? Food was excellent. Okay, perfect. You are ready to hike, right? I'm ready. Oh, Betty is coming. He's maybe sitting somewhere there. Let me ask him later on. Cheers. So now let me ask, Barry, how was your sleep last night? Oh, excellent. I slept like a log. Oh my goodness. <laughs> slept like a log. Jesus. Had a great bowel movement this morning. I'm all set to go. Perfect. Let's go <laughs> in. Cheers. <laughs> Hello, namaste. Okay, this is the manual, the longest manual. When you go from Gami to Tarang, this is in the middle. And if you take the jeep, you miss this part, so you better walk, so you know what it is. This is just uh, unbelievably beautiful, and this is thousands of years old anyway, by the way. Oh, I just remember. Please don't forget to like and subscribe my channel to promote trekking in Nepal. Thank you very much. Namaste. Look at the sign. Right side goes to Charang and left goes to Dhakmar. Look at the landscape towards Dhakmar. Wow. Behind this ridge, there is a place called Dhakmar. We were supposed to go there, but we didn't. How are you, Mahesh? I am good. Are you enjoying the trek? Yes, I am enjoying the trek very nicely. How many times have you been to this Mustang trek? I have been uh, before so once a time and now. This is your second time, right? Yes. So you like this trekking? Yes, I like uh, the most okay, this Mustang perfect. trek. Cheers. Damn it, Ram, I'm pissed off. God, I can't stop taking photos here. <laughs> Look at this. Further you go, the view is better. Look at that beautiful village, Charang. Wow, it's a Shangri-La. All the monasteries, houses, all unique. You are in the different planet, man. Looks like an old town. They have some nice open hotels here. Yeah, they do, but they are closed now because of the off season. Yeah. Only one or two are open. Namaste. Namaste. Hotel Khulla Cha Didi. Yeah, take care. Hi, good afternoon. It is nearly one o'clock in the afternoon and we have arrived here at Charang. It took us four and a half hours to get here, but we are, we are here now. So let's have a lunch and we are staying here tonight. So this is our camp too. Cheers. Wow, this is nice one. <laughs> Namaste. One of the oldest gompa in Mustang. Wow, look 
look at the eagle. What is this? Uh, house for cow maybe? Or oh, look at this door. Wow, what a building. Wow, they have built this new monastery in the middle of the village. Big, beautiful, amazing. Look at that. Good morning. This is 23rd February 2023 and uh, we are here at Sarang and uh, this is a beautiful village so we decided to stay one extra day here in Sarang but Jay, Jen and I are going to this Gargomba over there which is the oldest monastery in this trail so everything is going great Barry is resting at the hotel so how are you Jen? I'm doing very well. You're happy to go to Gargomba uh, now, right? I am. It is three hours hike. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> <laughs> so by the way, how was your staying here? Good. I had the best sleep of the trek so far. I went to bed at 9 and I did not move until 6 a.m. Wow. So I'm feeling very well. Perfect. Let's and go. And you forgot to mention who else we have with us. Oh, yes. He's over there. <laughs> He's just following us. We have a little dog who's uh -huh. been following us for four days. The littlest hobo uh -huh. and he's coming to explore too. Okay, let's go together then. Let's go. Cheers. Look at caves, all those caves over there. And the villagers are still using these caves as a part of their home so they can store something there. See, they are well managed. Nazo, you can't go Namke Bandubore? Lumba. Lumba? Nazo. And Topeko Gamma Ali Mati Bandubore? Sari. Sari. And you are going Marang? Tulugam Marang. Tulugam Marang, we are going. You are going to go to Mamanti Boston Kiki or Tanali. You go far, Tony. You don't go back, Manji Bassani, as a buzzard is honey. Eh, Gumba, Manji Bottom. The Gumpa is there. We're gonna go there. Gar Gumpa is located in the upper Mustang region of Nepal at the elevation of 3950 meters above sea level. Let's go inside this Gar Gumpa. It is three hours trek away from Tsarang village. It was built by Guru Padma Sambhava in the 8th century and it is believed to be the oldest monastery in the region. It is one of the most important Gompa for Buddhists. When you are on the trip to Upper Mustang, please don't miss out this monastery.
We went to Gargumpa and then now we are returning via this Marang village. Marang village. The trail is a little longer but it's you know it's it's always nice to visit new villages, you know. Gargumpa go around? Yeah, yeah, sir. How much time? Yeah, yeah. How much time? Yeah, yeah. Good morning. It is 24th February 2023 and we are here at Sarang. Uh, by the way, uh, Jen, please come in. <laughs> Jen and uh, Mahesh are headed to Lomantang now and Barry and I are here. We'll be going later on. And uh, how are you, Jen? I'm feeling well. Are you ready to go to Lomantang today? Yes, I can't wait. Uh -huh. So I'll see you, guys, see you guys later then. Okay, see you soon. See you, cheers. Bye. Okay. Cheers. Good afternoon. It's uh, one o'clock in the afternoon and uh, 24th February 2023. We have arrived here at Lo Man Thang. This is the gate of Lo Man Thang. It says, welcome to Lo Man Thang. And we are going to stay here for a few days and explore this city. So uh, let's stay tuned. Cheers. <laughs> okay, we are arriving here at Lo Man Thang. Let's go to our hotel. This is the way. We came in this off season time, so most of the hotels are closed and most of the villages uh, have gone to the cities, to, to the warmer places. So there is a only one tea house open there, so let's go to the, that two tea house. Uh, anyway, there are no people, it's peace and quiet. Let's enjoy this peace. Only tea house that is open here is Everest Guest House. Namaste. 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 Let's go inside. Namaste. Let's go to the room. So, this is the. Uh -huh. Yeah. That's my room. Mahesh and I are sleeping here. This is a good one. Okay. Yes, okay. Hungry, okay. Man. Hungry man. Now Dalbat has just arrived. Let me dominate this. Wait, wait. Yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh, maybe you want to have a cook. Yes. <coughs> With this, it's good because it's a, it's it has a paper, so you need to settle down there. Mm. Good morning. Good morning, Good morning, Barry, Jane. Mahesh. <laughs> Good morning. Morning. Good morning. <laughs> it is 25th February 2023 and we are here at this tea house 
having a breakfast. We finished our breakfast. How are you, Barry? Good. I had a good breakfast. Good they, they make a really good breakfast here. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. And Jen? Good. I had mushroom soup and tomato soup for breakfast. Oh my breakfast. God. You had breakfast soup for the breakfast. Yeah. Two soups. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> <laughs> and how are you, Mahesh? I'm, I'm good. Okay, good then. Yeah. So, uh, today I think uh, we are going to explore the village, right? Yeah. Okay. Are we? Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. okay, let's go around and ex explore this village. Okay. Cheers. Okay. <laughs> Good morning again. We hiked to this little hill here so we can see this entire Lomantang village. Anyway, I'm not a fan of this uh, drone footage because you cannot fly. This is the real footage that you can see when you go on a trek. And this is the view you see. This is real, okay? And we are really enjoying this. Uh, we'll be walking through the villages later on, but we just came to this hill to see this view. Okay, cheers. Let's go to the palace. So this building is a palace. Let's go around. So the door of this palace. Oh. Oh, so the no entry. So we cannot go inside the palace. Let's go around the palace then. So this is where the Tizi festival happens in the Tizi festival time. And look at the palace. So this is the king's palace up low. We are here at Thupchen Monastery, which is in the middle of the city. Namaste, Namaste. <laughs> Cute. Good morning. This is 26 February 2023. And we are here at Lomantang. And today we are going to Namgel Gompa, Namgel Monastery, which is a one hour hike from here and uh, explore the village around there. But Barry and Je <laughs> Moes are staying here, and Jen and I are going to the monastery. So, Jen, how are you? I'm doing well, but I'm a little cold. It's a little bit colder than normal today, but once we get walking, it'll be good. What is the temperature right now? My phone said minus 11. Oh my God, minus 11. But it's sunny. Oh yes, nice. Yeah. Takes so, the edge off. <laughs> so you're ready to hike to that monastery today? Always ready. Ah, I know. <laughs> so how is everything going on in, with you this, in this Lomantang? Very good. <laughs> no, I, I really... I have no words. It's incredible. Okay, Try. Yeah. that's perfect. Let's can't go wait. there. Okay. Says so, so you wanted to say something. I can't wait to come back in like what did he say? September, October, when it's all green and ah. even more beautiful. I can't imagine. You can do it twice, no problem. No problem. You can come back again and again, no okay. problem. Okay. You're welcome. <laughs> okay. Cheers. Cheers. By the way, guys, you can see the monastery on the other side of the hill. That is Namgal Monastery. That's where we're going. It's not that far, but. We, we are going to take our time, so let's go. So, the cave, where this, cave is this way, but we are going to the monastery this way. Look at the sign. View of the Mantang on the way to Nam Gilgumpa.
We are here at the monastery but there are two big dogs and we are afraid to go inside so we're trying to find some people here to go together with maybe somebody is in the monastery I'm trying to call them see you there Look at the view of Lo Man Thang from this Namgyal monastery. It's sad that nobody is in the monastery and there are two big dogs so we cannot go in. So we have to abort this mission. Abort, abort, abort. So this is Namgyal monastery where we did not go in. So the final day in Lo Man Thang, today 27th February 2023 and today we are going to Thosar Caves and that's it we are going to do and uh, afternoon we'll be resting in Lo Man Thang and have a good time that's it everyone is ready Barry and Jane and Mice yeah. we all are going yeah. cheers yeah. is everything all right with you guys yeah. Yeah. cheers cheers uh, yeah. left What a view, what a view, just unbelievable. It doesn't come into my mind at all now. So Ray, and that would fort. be a fort. fort. Yes, that is a Ancient fort. fort. Absolutely, yeah. And that way there, they'd be able to see if the Mongols came down, who yeah. were attacking, uh, they could see. <laughs> well, probably, but I, I don't know about that, but that is definitely the fort. And they could shoot archeries. Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, oh, Welcome to Chosa. Oh my god, you can see all those mountains in the background. Tilicho, Nilgiri, Tilicho, Anupuna 2 and on Thorangla also. Oh my god, and you can see this monastery on this side. By the way, you may be able to see these caves on that rock. They are private caves, you know, people are still living there. So this is the, you know, it's somebody's house so we cannot go in. That's why we're not going there. We're going to the cave that is open for us to see on the other side of this rock. But look at that. I heard that people still live there because in the winter it's warm inside the cave. Cheers. So it's on this side. So the road you see that goes to the border of Nepal and Tibet and this way we go to Zong Cave, Chosar Cave, right over there. Okay, so here we get the ticket to go to Chosar Cave, Zong Cave. Kati rupiah, Didi? Bidisi Gazar. Bidisi Gazar? Oh, and in Nepal? Say. Say? Yeah, we are almost there, almost there. Look at that. That is the cave that we're going to on that rock. So, it is nearly 12 o'clock, almost 12. And then we have arrived here at the cave. Look at the landscape there, and you see the cave just behind me. That's the cave. We're gonna walk in there. Let's go. Let's go. Let me start out, okay? Okay. Oh. 
Oh, it's too dark. You can't see anything here. Anyway, it's a room. But the beautiful thing is that you have this viewpoint from here. Look at that. Let's go upstairs. They have three floors here. Uh, okay. Be very careful. It's a, it's a room. Look at this. What a beautiful big room. <laughs> I know you cannot see this properly, but it's fine. Let's go. Let's go to this room. Wow, <laughs> this is beautiful. What a lookout point! Oh my god, isn't this great? Wow, let's go upstairs. That looks like a gin. Hello, gin. Through this hole? Oh, wow. I think you can. Here I come. Okay. <laughs> nice. Uh, by the way, there is an ancient gompa right next to this uh, Chosar Cape. So, Jen and I are going to visit this gompa. Uh, a man who has a key is with us, so he's gonna show us the gompa. Let's go. Wow, look at that. Gompa inside. Where do you get the we have to take off the shoes. Wow. Good afternoon. It is quarter to two in the afternoon and we have finished our visiting this Chosar Jong Cave in Chosar. We are so hungry we need to find uh, we need to find somewhere. You know, we need to find a restaurant and eat somewhere there because we're really hungry now. Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> Look at the locals having a sun bath. <laughs> Namaste, Sabajan Lai. <laughs> Good morning from Lo Man Thang. This is 28th February 2023. Yes. And it is about 9 o'clock in the morning, and uh, you know, we are taking the jeep back because. Uh, we hiked here and now we're taking the jeep back. There are different options to do because you can trek up and trek down. You can go to Yara and Tetang and Chusang, go to, you know, trek back for another four days or something. You know, you can do a lot of stuff here or you can come to Lomantang and stay four or five days and do a, you know, day trips, go to these caves, monastery, and it's a beautiful spot to have a few extra days. So we decided to explore Lomantang more than, you know, walking back the same route. So that's what we did. But our permit is for 10 days, so we have to get out from this reason today because it's 20th February. So we are taking the jeep and our team is getting ready. And uh, by the way, I'm going to end up the video in Pokhara. Once we arrive there, I'm going to get the feedback with my clients. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Okay. No, no, Thank you. Thank you. I love staying here. Cheers, Namaste. Namaste. <laughs> I could not stop taking this video because, you know, 
What a trip we had! Five days of hike and four hours of ride back, you know, from Lomantang. Oh my god, that was so quick! We are here in Jomsom, we are staying here tonight and flying to Pokhara tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Good morning, we landed in Pokhara. This is what time is it now? 9.30 maybe. Something like it that. It was not 20 minutes flight, you know, 8 hours drive to Jomsom. But now this is 20 minutes, we are back in Pokhara. You know, I'm always excited to, you know, take these flights to Jomsom and to Lukla. These flights gives you the, the thrilling, thrilling experience, the adrenaline feeling, you know, and you see all these mountains around. Oh my God, it's all good. Oh my God, how are you, Barry? Good. good you liked it? Ah, uh, lovely. Uh -huh. And Jen? Yeah, I'm all amped up now. Oh, nice one, nice one. Let's go to the hotel. Okay, good morning. This is 10 o'clock in the morning. Not really. Nearly 10. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we are back in Pokhara, 1st March 2023. It is 10 o'clock. Oh, yeah, it is 10 o'clock, yes. <laughs> we are back from our upper Mustang trek. And we are ending the trek here, so let's get the feedback. Lady, ladies first. Ladies first. Oh, Jane. Well you put me on the spot, guys. Um, <laughs> incredible. That this is my fourth trek in Nepal, and by far my favorite has been Mustang region. Yeah. Surreal landscapes, expansive. You know the Himalayan mountains and the desert landscape together. Just incredible. The people. The fact that it was off season and that we didn't encounter even oh, yeah. one other trekker made it really, really, really special. Anyways, I loved it. Wow, you explained it really nice, Jen. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, Betty, what do you want to say now? Well, it's going to be hard for me to uh, top that, but yeah. look, I've been to many places in the world, and the Upper Mustang kind of reminds me of a mixture between the uh, Australian Outback, the Grand Canyon, mm -hmm. and... Uh, the moon. I've never been to the moon, <laughs> but it must be something like that, or maybe Mars. Mm -hmm. And I'm telling you, I just blown away. The people were just so friendly, and the landscape was breathtaking the whole way through. I just couldn't stop taking photos and videos. You were pissed off once. Well, I was, I, was I was afraid. I was afraid I was going to run out of memory in my camera. <laughs> I was just snapping so many photos. It's unbelievable. But I highly recommend. Yeah. If you're ever going to do a trek in the world, to do the Upper Mustang. And I said it was like stepping through a portal, literally, into another place in time. That's what it felt like. Wow. And it wow. feels really weird to be back here now. Nicely explained. Thank you so much. I feel the same like you both. The guys feel okay. <laughs> Cheers.